and continuing the practice problems here, uh, a lot of these next ones deal with the power rule. So here f primed is 7x cubed and we need to find f, the function that will have this as its derivative. Well it's going to be a x to the fourth and we're going to have a factor of 7 in there so let's try 7x to the fourth and, um, and we need to divide by 4. If we raise this power by 1 and then we divide by the new power that's pretty much it. You can test this pretty easily. Take the derivative of that and you have 7 fourths because a constant just stick, sticks around when we take our derivative. So 7 fourth times 4x cubed and those fours cancel and we have 7x cubed. So it's 7x to the fourth over 4 plus c. 18 the derivative uh, the derivative is x to the n so the function is going to be x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 and this is the power rule for integrals or the power rule for antiderivatives if ever you have just a, a variable raised to a power and you need to take that antiderivative of that you just increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power plus c. Okay, the next one, the square root of x. This one can be done very simply with the power rule if we rewrite it as x to the one half. So f primed, let's write f primed here is x to the one half. So write it as a power function. And then f is going to be, let's just apply this concept here. Raise the power by one, so that will be x to the 3 halves and then divide by the new power. So we could write divided by 3 halves but instead of dividing by 3 halves I'm going to just multiply by 2 thirds. So it's 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. Okay, and the next one x to the 1.43 well this is easy the power rule works even if you have a fractional or irrational powers even. So if f primed is x to the 1.43 then f is x to the 2.43 over the new power 2.43 plus c okay, and a few more okay, number 21 f prime of x is x to the negative 1.01 .01. So f of x is going to be x to the power of this number plus 1. And negative 1.01 plus 1 is negative 0.01. So it's x to the power of negative 0.01 over the new power. So that's going to be over negative 0.01. And that, that's a 100th there, 0.01. So let's uh, simplify this or or write it in a in a more usual fashion. This would be a negative, we have a negative sign, negative 100 x to the negative 0 0.01 plus c. Okay, number 22, uh, a chain rule problem again. f prime of x is 4 times 5x plus 4 cubed, so we need to find f what function will have this as its derivative? Well if we try a 5x plus 4 to the fourth if we differentiate this we'll get something kinda like this we're gonna get a 4 if we differentiate this the power rule here will give us a 4 5x plus 4 cubed times 5 because of that 5 right there by the chain rule so we just need to divide this simply by 5 and put our plus c and that's it. And of course if you wanted to instead of the 5 there you could put a 1 fifth out front that'd be fine too to write it that way. And one more 1 fifth 4x plus 9 squared. Okay, What function here f will have this for its derivative? Well it's probably going to be 4x plus 9 cubed or some variation on this. So if we take the derivative of this we're gonna have 3 times 4x plus 9 squared 
times 4. So the derivative of this would be 12 times 4x plus 9 squared. And instead of 12 times 4x plus 9 squared, we need to have a 1 fifth. So we need to divide by 12 to get rid of that and also divide by 5 to get this 1 fifth down there. So that's a, a factor of 60 in the denominator. So let's put this over 60 and then just check that real quick. Take the derivative of this and the derivative of that would be 1 60th because that just a, a constant multiplier stays there and then it's times 3 4x plus 9 squared times 4. I'll put my 4 out front just because I'm out of room. But you can see what happens here. The 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 60 right there. It gives me my 1 fifth. And then I have the 4x plus 9 squared. So that's it. We just need to put the plus c on right there.